Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to be trying to um, beat Real Civil Engineer and Intern.gif at their land speed record videos. Um, I believe Real Civil Engineer set his record as uh, around 34 meters per second and his rules were surviving. The Kerbal had to survive and it had to be on the ground. Um, Intern.gif um, did the same thing, same rules, and he got up to 440 meters per second. So I decided I play this game too. I'm, what if I try to do it? Can I beat them? Um, so right now I'm building my first ship. Um, it's going to be one of many revisions and many ships before I can actually succeed at this challenge. Um, throw the wings on, get some downforce, and use some big wheels because it's going to need a. There's going to be a lot of downforce here. Um, keeping it somewhat long so there's with fuel tanks and. I've got a mammoth engine on the back, if you may have seen me put that on as I did so. Um, and I decided to go with some larger fuel tanks in the back as a cone to fit that mammoth better. Which, as we're going to find out here shortly when I launch it, that really did not work out too well. And yep, need some radial mounted parachutes because we're going to be going fast at least that's the goal <laughs> um, my goal today is to have a successful test run that results in as few explosions as possible and beats the um, record speed, land speed records which as you may have saw at the start there uh, that engine sort of just sagged and things sort of spiraled out of control quite literally the, the end <laughs> so I've gone back and decided to get rid of the cone shapes at the end and just throw the engine on there what happens then? seems a little better a little less flippity floppity here and then we took off which that sort of voids a land speed record because you're in the air. And you may notice the um, recording is not like fitted in the screen correctly. Uh, that was just some technical difficulties I noticed a little late in editing. And this does actually fix itself later on. Um, so the actual me breaking the record will be in a full screen you can see the speed and everything and you'll notice later on some of these other clips you'll see that before the actual record happens throwing on some more wheels here and making the wings smart because I don't actually want to take off <laughs> and throwing the wheels back on on the back because I had to take those wheels off with the wings and just figure out how wide I really need the wheels. And try to throw on some struts because you could fix everything with struts. Or at least that's how I play. <laughs> Decided to put some struts on the engine too. Hopefully to keep it a little more stable. And that sort of went poorly. So we're going to go back and edit it some more. Got rid of the single front wheel, move these two front wheels up. Adding some more shoots because I believe I noticed that after deleting the cone shaped um, fuel tanks I also deleted the shoots there and didn't have any in the last couple runs. And things sort of spout out of control here too. I'm now realizing I need these wheels as far apart as I can. <laughs> to create that stability side to side. So 
So I said, move them to the wingtips and try again. It's going better, nose down a little, which is actually pretty useful. And those wings up front are giving me some downforce and well things spiraled out of control quite quickly here. Again. <laughs> However, this time my shoots worked and I mostly landed intact and then the game decided that I wasn't really landed so I couldn't see a real speed or anything which was weird and it's an early access game so I was not surprised um, I do eventually just revert the flight and try again and you may also be wondering uh, I'm also trying to slowly um, turn up the thrust on the engine but you may be wondering noticing that all these clips so far are being sped up um, I believe all the ones so far are at four times speed uh, that's because they all just ended badly and later on I used a new design entirely um, the final record is not sped up but until then they all pretty much are I just didn't want to give you guys an hour long video so I had to speed some things up and I did cut out quite a few of my revisions that just completely failed and had no hope in them at all so I'm pretty persistent here thinking I can get this thing off the ground it's got so much potential I mean not off the ground but fast enough but never really did it wheels in the front seem to just keep giving out when I hit the brakes so I'm gonna go back add some bigger wheels or more wheels not bigger my bad and reduce their braking force you also notice me um, turning off the friction on the front wheels um, this is because it's been noticed by um, other youtubers like Matt Lown um, that it when frictions enabled it has a tendency of veering off the runway real fast and that's definitely what happened to me during my first couple until I realized I need to start disabling it and things sort of went out of control there but I recovered it and we landed upside down which means the game's not happy and I don't think we're quite getting the new record here just yet we're close but not there just yet but I'm being persistent and we're still trying and oh there's a really good run hey we're still intact and oh, there goes half of the ship <laughs> and the game's kind of bugged out so that doesn't even count okay so now we're on to skipped a few revisions and on to my final revision mostly because it was similar to that first design just smaller and I decided let's just keep things as simple as possible a small fuel tank, a small engine, small wheels put a medium or I think it was a medium um, stabilizer in the back and extra small stabilizers in the middle pointing for downforce let's see what happens with this There's still some revisions to be done on this ship. This isn't going to be the final run here. <laughs> Sorry to spoil it, but I'm adding some shoots and Saviant. You'll notice land speed record V4 because, well, there were like 
I think there were really like four different versions of it before this one. Or total. No, before this one. But I sort of lost track and just went with V4. You'll notice this one's going pretty well, but how fast am I going? Well, we've gone back to that poor camera, which, hey, it's slightly better now, but it's still not quite there. <laughs> but this ship is doing a lot better. We're actually getting, I think for the most part, above 659 meters per second. Um, which, my target goal here was 659 because I oh, did see a, another small YouTuber like me get 659. So just to make sure I call it the land speed record, I want to make sure about that. Now you notice here, this actually went really well. And that is because... But I did not stop here because... Most of the ship blew up and all that was left was the crew module and the front wheels. <laughs> Everything else was in that big explosion you saw. But the crew did survive, so according to the rules, that could technically count. But that wasn't good enough for me, because there wasn't much of a ship left. So now I'm going back and looking at some solid fuel boosters. Um, I'm thinking of ways like to either replace that rear engine or um, slow down. Um, looking at that mono propellant, considering it is using a brake for the ship or vehicle, <laughs> and thinking really hard about it, which I then figured, just curious how strong those um, nuclear engines were now. But I do go back and put those two motor propellant on, facing backwards so that they could be brakes instead of um, additional power. Because when I need those, I'm trying to slow down, not speed up. <laughs> so they need some motor propellant tanks to work best, which that probably does help. And then move them up onto the motor propellant tanks to make sure there's no issue. Check my staging. Which I actually decided to just throw them up with parachutes. That'll be fine. Saving the ship. And then we're going to launch it. And. Almost forgot here to. Go change the friction settings on the front wheels. So let's just stop here. I want to use this whole runway. Adjusting the friction to zero for all of my front wheels. I leave it on, I think, either auto or one for the rear wheels. Now let's go. Getting good speed. We're starting a little wobbly, wobbly, but that's pretty normal. We got pretty good speed here, but we spun out and took air. And then everything turned south quickly. <laughs> but good to see the parachutes work. I figured I'd check here to see if maybe a crew survived. But no, they were gone. And now we're going to just revert back to launch and try this again. Once again, setting the friction to zero. So it doesn't veer off the runway and lose control too quick. Just it rolls straighter this way, and here we go. Everything's going smoothly 500 meters per second, 600, and hitting the brakes. You can see the mono propellant going there, too. The chutes are deployed, I came off the runway, and chutes are fully deployed, and we have stopped for the water a little bit past the runway started rolling back but that's not a problem I just hit the brakes and then we're gonna recover the vehicle to get the final speed which as you can see is 679 meters per second in new air time so that was a successful flight and is currently the new land speed record